it's me, Stormy, and let's talk about the full moon coming up in Libra, March 31st. It's going to be at 10 degrees of Libra, and it's actually so cool because it's another blue moon for us. We had one that happened in January as well, but this is another one that we're having. So this is a pretty unusual kind of timing. Now, just in case you're wondering or have never heard that phrase, blue moon, the moon is not actually blue. It just means that we have two full moons within the same month. And that doesn't happen very often, but we've had it twice this year. So it's a really kind of exciting phenomenon <laughs> that's that's happening. And it's surely a signal for us that things are under some change. Not to mention, we have a fair amount of planets at this full moon that are in cardinal energies. So we have a starting energy at this full moon, which is typically about endings, culminations, adjustments, acknowledgements, things like that, right? So it's a really interesting full moon, got a lot of different aspects. I look forward to showing you on the chart and walking through them with you as well. But before we do that, let's talk about what a full moon is just in general, in case this is something you're just becoming familiar with. The full moon happens when the sun and the moon are opposite of each other. So there becomes this opposition, right? My wants versus my needs, um, my left versus my right, whatever it is, it comes into an opposition and what it creates is an opposition creates tension, of course, because two things are pulling in opposite directions, right? So what happens when we have two things going in different directions or we feel like we're stretching is that of course you can be exhausted right? You can just feel like I'm not sure where to put my energy. I'm putting so much energy into something, but I also feel like I need to be putting it over here. So with this being in the sign of Libra, this could certainly be something where you're re-looking at the balance or the compromise, um, your two polarities within relationships. Now, the moon itself is also over our emotional quality. So this could just be that your emotions feel like they're in opposing places, right? This isn't necessarily that, you know, something like the job or your money are going in different places, but this is such an internal emotional instinct kind of energy that you may feel like you are going in two different directions and you have to kind of solve the illusion of which direction you actually need to be going. So it's a really interesting energy. You can look at this full moon and look back at last month. What did you have going on at the new moon last month? right? Or I guess I should say, because it's in the same month, it's a blue moon. So what did you have going on at the new moon this month? March 17th, what seeds of intention were you planting, right? What was going on? What were you praying for? What did you manifest for? Because you may be able to see some of that tension, that opposition as you grow into that manifestation happening right here at this blue moon for sure. And you can also maybe see for some of you, because it is a full moon, you will see some of the goals that you set you're a little bit closer to them as well. So let's grab the chart, let's pull it up and take a look at these aspects because this is a busy full moon for sure. Okay, so as we are looking at this moon, we see that there are several different aspects happening for sure. So let's talk through the aspects first. Um, we've got not only the full moon happening, so the sun and the moon in opposition, Mercury, our planet of communication, is also in retrograde at this full moon, and it's opposite this full moon, which always changes the way that our emotions will um, be able to communicate them, maybe the way that we understand them, the way that we share them, especially in our relationships, because this is Libra full moon, so we've got relationships going on right now. Now, not to mention that, we've also got Saturn in a square to this full moon, and Mercury um, with that, also in that space, can bring some thinking that's not sure, you're rethinking about your past, you may have a little bit of self-doubt going on here. There could even be some, some worry, some anxiety happening at this time, right? Now, another aspect that we see happening here for sure is that we've got Mars in conjunction with Saturn. So Mars and Saturn together typically wanna run off and they wanna just get things done, they wanna do things, you know what I mean? But Saturn says, hey, we need to slow down and get our lives together. So the Mars, Saturn, Saturn energy that we have happening here, um, and this is all square, this full moon that you guys can see here, um, it actually signals to us that we need to not 
try and push forward so much, right? That we maybe need to just be in a space for a second to look around, use some discernment, see where we need to take some action, look at the balance of our lives, right? Where do we feel like we're compromising too much? Where do you feel like there's inequality or injustice in your life in some way, shape, or form? Are you showing up well? Are you playing fair with others, right? Because think about this as well, you guys. We've got the sun opposite of the moon, right? But the sun is over in Aries here where it's exalted. So this is good. The sun is feeling good about working over here. And so this energy as well as saying, where am I vital? Where am I vital? This is a cardinal energy. Libra is a cardinal energy. You want to take this opportunity to initiate looking at where this balance can come together, right? Here's the other thing I would tell you in this slow down but definitely reevaluate stay in the reevaluation space with this moon is that because mercury is retrograde you have time to rethink these things you have time to look you have the support of the energies around you to look back and say where do i need to realign here right that's a really great energy okay now, other aspects that we see happening here for sure is that we've actually got, look, we've got Venus in a trine here to this Mars-Saturn conjunction, which is so great because this actually supports us in bringing some harmony into our world. It helps bring harmony into the masculine energy that we see here. Venus is very feminine. Mars and Saturn are both very masculine. So again, we have a polarity, but Venus here being in a trine with this energy will help to bring the needs of both of those energies into reality for you, into vision, right? Because remember with Venus here in Taurus, whatever we want to manifest in our money and our relationships and that includes your relationship with yourself um it's all going to take time and you've got to be steady with it it's an inward job as well right because your venus energy starts with being a very inward expression of not only your self-love but your self-esteem your beliefs of your self-worth and these things will show up outside of us they show up in an imbalance in our relationship an imbalance of our needs and our wants so this is a wonderful time during this moon to really be looking at that opposition of where you're at what are your needs what are your wants reevaluate things for sure now here's another thought i just want to put out there as well is that just singularly by itself when we have Mercury in a square to Saturn, now granted it is in a square to the conjunction of both Mars and Saturn, but when we have Mercury that you see here in a square to Saturn, it can make it harder to share an idea. It can make, because there's so many misunderstandings or miscommunications happening when Mercury is retrograde. So it's almost like you're trying to just express or explain yourself or say, this is my, my idea and people are not hearing it correctly, or people are trying to even better. And even more importantly, I think with Saturn now here in Capricorn, people are trying to give you feedback and you're taking it really personally. You're not taking it constructively. They're saying, Hey, maybe think about doing it this way. And you're like, like F you. You know what I mean? So it can be a time where, especially in our close relationships, people are trying to say, hey, this is how I feel. Uh, this is how I feel you're showing up or this is what's going on between us. And you're you're not hearing. And it's not necessarily because you don't want to or you're shutting the information out. It just can be a tendency of a retrograde communication planet in touch with um, a planet that's trying to give structure, give, give helpful criticism so that you can achieve and things like that. So these are some things just to think about at this moon. I think we have an aspect that actually saves all of us, and that is that Jupiter is in a sextile to Pluto over here, and it's actually, it, we have this one for a while, so it still continues, and we see it really in April as well, to bring a lot of positive change you don't have to force things along just participate right take the next right action if you're not sure what the next right action is ask for some guidance around this moon say hey i'm in this situation i don't know what to do here or even just acknowledging that maybe you're experiencing kind of a tug of war things are new even though you maybe can feel that something really delicious is coming it doesn't mean that you fully know how to navigate it and you maybe need to um 
quell some of those worries or those fears or that tension by just asking for a little bit of help because I do feel like the blue moon is going to open up an opportunity for you especially with that mercury retrograde to get maybe the help you need the answers that you need or something like that to help you move forward move forward with the goals that you have set for yourself so it's going to be a really interesting peeling that happens over the four weeks that follow this blue moon especially in terms of relationships oh you guys just be excited enough even if you're exhausted to allow yourself to get different because when libra energy comes around one of the biggest relationships that shift are the relationships of us with us you will shed and peel another layer of your onion and certainly become different now where this is going to happen for you in your own individual charts that is very very different but take this enjoy it i hope it was helpful to you if you liked this video or you felt like the content was useful give me a thumbs up like this video comment share subscribe i look forward to seeing you in classes whether it be this spring or this summer or whenever i look forward to seeing with you seeing with you seeing you and studying with you and i really look forward to mercury retrograde being over so i can have my tongue back as well <laughs> all right you guys i love you so much i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye